Hey guys, this is Jordan Hetrick, and I just wanted to let you know that the firmware version 1.2 has been released for the GoPro Hero 10 Black. Since this is the update that they promised a while ago with all of the features you may have expected when you bought your camera, I just wanted to share my opinion of it with you and show you some of the new features that it added to your Hero 10 Black. A beta version of this firmware was released a couple weeks ago that I told you about, but now this is the official firmware, so you can update this through the GoPro Quick app or through GoPro's website and it'll automatically prompt you when you connect your Hero 10 to the Quick App. I assume they're gonna keep this firmware on the camera for a while since it has all the features that we're looking for. So let me just show you the new features one by one. The first feature that it does is it adds the Max Lens Mod compatibility. Now this is a big deal because a lot of us have been waiting for that to be able to use the Max Lens Mod on the Hero 10 Black. So when you use the Max Lens Mod, if you go ahead and you swipe down from the dashboard and hit that Max Lens Mod icon there, it's going to give you the settings to use with the Max Lens Mod. Now with this firmware update version 1.2, you can use the Max Lens Mod at 2.7K, either in 4 to 3, which is a standard aspect ratio, like this, or in a widescreen aspect ratio. So when you use that Max Lens Mod setting, you're going to have the ability to get that full horizon leveling no matter how much you rotate your camera. So this is an awesome feature to use with the Hero 10 Black. This firmware update also adds some more frame rates at 24 frames per second, just throughout the settings. So if you want to record at the 24 frame per second for more of a cinematic feel, those are just available there for you. And the other huge advantage of this firmware update is that it adds the super view lens in 5K 60 and 5K 30. So if you want to record in super view, it's now available on the highest resolution setting. So I love the super view lens for those mounted shots or for super expansive scenic shots and this firmware update gives you the full resolution at 60 frames per second. The SuperView lens at 5K60 works great. I've tested it out a lot and I think you'll love it. There are also some performance improvements which you probably won't notice just to prevent overexposure in bright conditions. And it also adds in the features to be able to use this camera with the Enduro battery, which is GoPro's new battery for colder weather and slightly longer recording time. So that just added the compatibility for that with this camera. So in the previous firmware version, sometimes the battery on the Hero 10 would turn off after about 30%. But so far with this newest firmware update, the battery life for me has gone down really low and then it shuts off. So hopefully it keeps working like that and we get the maximum battery life out of this camera since the battery life's already kind of short. Another cool little feature that they added, which you might notice when your camera overheats or turns off due to low battery, is when you turn it back on, it's gonna tell you actually why it shut off just so you know, so you're aware if your camera overheated or if it ran out of battery. If you're just stepping up from the last firmware update, which was version 1.16, that added a few different dashboard icons and some settings to prevent overheating. So if you're just moving up to this update now from that, you're probably not gonna notice any other differences besides what I just showed you here. But so far this update's been working really well. I haven't had any issues with it. So just go ahead and be sure to update your camera with version 1.2 so you've got the latest features on your camera. Thanks so much for watching. Check you out next time.